Hello seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your monster pastor channel. Jupiter, the planet of wisdom, the planet of prosperity, the planet that is aspecting Gemini, Leo and Libra currently while being in Aquarius is now in Capricorn Navamsha. Why this special video? Well, <clears throat> we all know that Navamsha is called essence of any planet. So when it transit a planet happens to be in a certain Navamsha, it will try to address to that zodiac and that part of your life. When Jupiter is in Capricorn, it is said that Jupiter is debilitated. That means right now, although Jupiter is in Aquarius, but Jupiter is in a weak zodiac sign, in a sign of debilitation in Navamsha. What does it mean? Navamsha is a special place for a planet where the planet draws its power from. Who is in Capricorn right now? Saturn. So if Jupiter is running through a time frame from 19th January till 2nd February, when Jupiter is drawing its source of energy from Capricorn, therefore Jupiter will rely heavily on the energies of Saturn once again. And although being in, in Aquarius, Nava, Aquarius zodiac sign, the current and the future Navamsha of Jupiter will be a Saturn zodiac sign because right now Jupiter is in Capricorn Navamsha and then Jupiter will cover Aquarius Navamsha. So Saturnian Navamsha's influences Jupiter heavily. Therefore, Saturn energies influences Jupiter heavily now. The experience of Saturn can really transform your life currently. Saturn in Capricorn is a karmic position of a planet. When Jupiter draws the energy, that means Jupiter is willing to do something for you. Jupiter is wanting a major change here. But this change will not come unless Jupiter becomes debilitated. That means unless you stop whining about the problem and now it's the time to execute the action. Capricorn is 12th from Aquarius. That means the subconscious mind of Aquarius. Also, it means that you will have to give up the feeling of the result and now focus towards more, towards action. Because Capricorn is all about to create something, to execute something, task in motion, task in action. And this doesn't have to do anything with the karma fall, which is automatically the result of Capricorn. The second from Capricorn is Aquarius. But if Jupiter is redirecting the energy or drawing the energy, 12th from Aquarius, this definitely means that Jupiter is willing to sacrifice something that is associated with Aquarius. So wherever your Aquarius zodiac is, you will have to sacrifice something in order to gain benefits from Capricorn. You are bound to see some transformation happening in your life, especially in the areas ruled by Aquarius zodiac sign. But for that, you will have to take some strict measures, some bold decisions. And you have to rely on your own experience, the past experience of your life which will give you the necessary guidance needed to execute the current task the task at hand especially if you are in your career if you're stuck in some big financial problem which also means that the guru will give you the guidance and the guidance will come from an experienced person the 12th house also means to donate to give up something so you will have to give up some bad attitude so find one bad thing about yourself everyone each one of us has something that can be given up we all have scope of improvement give that negativity once you give up that negativity once you give up on that negative energy jupiter and sadbhisha will start healing your horoscope automatically and this is how the healing process will begin starting 19th of January. After 2nd February, Jupiter will move into Aquarius Navamsha. Therefore, Jupiter being Vargottama. The moment Jupiter becomes Vargottam, the entire focus shifts on Aquarius. That means right now Jupiter is trying to assess the damage that is already 
happening in your life and Jupiter is willing to make a change and he is deciding what is to be placed where in your life how where when is all being decided right now and soon it will convert into a series of actions in your life a series of events that will fall like dominoes and you will see that soon you will get results in your life some will get immediately some will have to wait but remember the sequence has already begun so take this time period very very cautiously this is the time when you have to adhere to your rules this is the time when you will have to accept the transformation accept the duty and responsibility this is absolutely not the time when you will go heavy on investments also take care of your health karman neva dhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana this line fits perfectly in this transit where jupiter is giving up the karma phal in order to determine the karma in itself because if you don't know what is the right karma how will you get the right result so all the transits be it ketu in Aqu in scorpio be it jupiter transit in satbhesha or be it the saturn transit in the in the sign of capricorn mercury retro everything is talking about focusing on the karma and not on the results so when you will focus on the the smaller things in the life you will see that you will be able to transform yourself and become a person who can heal different areas of life be it financial be it with regards to relationship that it doesn't matter whichever area of your life is in pain right now can be healed through jupiterian blessings you can chant purusha sukta pray to lord vishnu chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ask for guidance be ready to walk the path be ready to apply what you have learnt in real life so instead of just sitting on a couch and reading the scriptures now is the time to apply those scriptures in your real life and that is the real motive behind this transit that is the real intention of the transit the transit wants to see how much you can bring change how much active you are in life have you taken the first step is it the time to start a new company is it the time to start a new venture absolutely not because when you are healing you should rest you should let things heal you you should go with the flow and when the time is right when things are right you should take the necessary action but this is the action needed not to initiate something but to already correct what has gone wrong after fourth mercury will become direct that will also come as a support to this jupiterian transit if you observe mercury is in capricorn so if jupiter is in capricorn navamsha jupiter is indirectly communicating with saturn mercury and sun so while jupiter is in capricorn and mercury is retrograde this is definitely a course correction for lot of you it can be a reset for some of you you will go back to square one do not get disappointed with failures do not get sad if things don't work out for you there is a reason why it is not working out for you find that reason and work on it that is exactly what jupiter is trying to do 12th house is like a person on an operation theater it's in on an operating table and jupiter is trying to heal you it is trying to take away the negativity so this is the best time to detoxify do fasting on thursdays and also you can chant vishnu sahasra naam being spiritual but also applying spirituality in real life will help you reach places where you always want to be and that's the message of jupiter in the sign of capricorn in the navamsha so make the best use of this transit start working start correcting things mars and venus are already in sagittarius right now they are there to give the necessary healing touch and the energy so jupiter has all the support because if you see right now 
Mars and Venus is in Sagittarius. Sun, Mercury and Saturn is in Capricorn. Jupiter is in Aquarius. So six planets are between Sagittarius and Pisces zone of the sky which means transcendental powers are there for you. They are, for, they are there for your ascension. The spiritual side has completely opened up and this is the time when you can correct things but you have to look things from a different perspective. If you keep on looking the red light from a green glass, you won't see anything because you are not using the right way. This is the time to give up on old ways and adopt something new. Adopt something that will work with more efficiency. For corporates, this is the time where you can be more efficient. You can restructure. You will see a lot of restructuring will happen in the hierarchy of businesses. Even at in, in your own home, you will see that subconsciously you will restructure something that will suit your needs and this can give you more productivity. People will upgrade their business to improve their productivity. This is going to be massively, massively benefiting those who will do it correctly. Just that because Rahu is in the sign of Taurus, if you do it with a lot of intention of, of you know, results, then it will not work. Because first, you need to give up the thought of getting something back. It is the time where you only do focus on doing the task. It's like the student who is trying to learn the subject. If he focuses on the examination and number of marks he will get, he will never be able to learn anything properly. But if he simply focuses on the book, the subject matter, and it, his sole focus is to grab on the subject matter, he will automatically become successful. Success will follow you if you follow the path of karma. So that was a quick take on the Jupiter transit in the debilitated Navamsha. I just wanted to give you a message. Much more videos will come soon. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. For consultations, drop me an email. Join me on Instagram and Telegram for quick updates. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Namaste.